This feels like a palette. I'm not gonna call overkill on this. Oh, wow. Advent Alex, I think I found the best looking advent calendar for 2021. Just look at the MAC Beauty advent calendar for this year. It's absolutely stunning. And also, look at it. It just unravels. Oh, it's like accordion. Now this little beauty will set you back 135 pounds, but the contents inside is worth 340 pounds. Now this advent calendar sells out so quickly every single year. So I've left the link down in the description for you guys to go and get one. Okay, let's do day number one. <gasps> We're starting on a high. So here we have the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. I remember last year for day number one, we got a red matte liquid lipstick, but this is great. So this is in the color Mull It Over. It's the perfect everyday shade. This would look great on its own or throw on some lip glass on top Oh my gosh, it's just like the best stuff ever. Fingers crossed we have that. Day number two. Next up, we have a mascara. Now this is the In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. We got this in last year's calendar and this is a really great lengthening mascara. The wand is definitely different. Um, it's not clumpy, which is something that I really, really like. Um, yeah. Perfect. So far, so good. Day number three. Oh, it's a teeny door. I reckon we've got our first eyeshadow. And we do. So this is in the color Brun, and this is a satin eyeshadow. I love their satin eyeshadows. They're beautiful in texture. Now this is a gorgeous dark brown color. This is one of my favorite shades, definitely for like a smoky look. I have brown eyes, not brown eyes, I don't have brown eyes. I have blue eyes and it looks great against um, brown tones. I just think my eyes pop really nicely. Day number four. Oh, wow. Full size lipstick. I remember a couple years ago, it was full of smaller sizes. I'm so glad that they're giving us full size products. Now this is in the color Talk, and this is a matte lipstick. Now this is very similar to the first door. Let's check. Okay, I would definitely say that this was more autumnal. This is definitely more like a chocolate autumnal color. I actually really like these shades. Um, I'm all about these colors this time of year. I hope we got some burgundies, maybe some reds in here just because it's a festive calendar, but this is fantastic. A strong four days. Day number five. Next up, we have our first lip glass product. Now this is in the color Spiked. So we've had a couple of matte products. This is definitely more of a gloss. The pigments in the lip gloss are fantastic. It's definitely not a lip gloss. Just to make it clear, it's definitely like a super pigmented lip glass, lip gloss. Yeah, it's definitely thicker. This looks fantastic on its own. It just gives like a really nice shiny finish. Similar to what I've got on my lips right now. Day number six. <gasps> This feels like a palette. Oh, this is special. So this is Warm Soul and this is the Mineralize Blush. I can't get in it. Aha, there we go. This just looks like a satin pillow. It's absolutely stunning. I wouldn't say it was like a rosy pink blush. It's definitely more of a um, nude kind of blush. It's definitely got more of like a bronze undertone. I'm so glad that they've popped this in here. This so far is better than last year's, hands down. Day number seven. Behind this door, we do have a mini lipstick. Now this is Velvet Teddy, the infamous Velvet Teddy. It's a gorgeous color. Again, it's very similar to the previous doors. I mean, they are kind of different tones slightly, but kind of on the same color tone 
wavelengths. I'm still hoping that we do have a variation in color tones, but this is something that I'm gonna use. I do like the colors. Day number eight is a big door. We have Prep and Prime next, and this is the essential oils. So this is something to wear on its own or mixed in with a moisturizer. It's got grapefruit and chamomile in it, so it's very rejuvenating for the skin, and it's perfect for the up and coming months. It's got a great little pipette, so you can definitely blend it into a moisturizer really nicely. Day number nine. This is really heavy. What? is it? Oh, this looks really nice. Now this is bougie and this is a pro long wear paint pot. So this is a long wear eyeshadow that can be worn on the eyes for up to 15 hours. That's a long time. So this is a velvety texture and it's also crease proof and it will go really nicely with the eyeshadow that we got earlier. So far the look of this advent calendar is definitely like a smoky kind of brown nudie vibe. It just all matches. Day number 10. Ah, oh, this is a MAC Advent Calendar Classic. Now here we've got the Brow Set Gel. I literally wait to get mine every single year. This is essential for a brushed up brow. What I like about this product in particular is that it doesn't dry flaky like some gel products do. It doesn't do that, so your eyebrows won't look like they've got dandruff. Day number 11. Up next, we got another eyeshadow product. Now, this is called Devoted to Chili, and it's a powder kiss soft matte eyeshadow. A really beautiful tone. It's definitely got chili vibes. Again, it matches all the other colors that we've had previously. I think for this year's advent calendar, they've really focused on achieving a look out of this calendar and not just getting ad hoc stuff. We have now hit day number 12, which is halfway through. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss a video. Also go and follow me on Instagram because I will be releasing many more Instagram giveaways over there, especially giving away advent calendars. So go and follow me. For day number 12, we have got the Cleanse Off Oil. So this is a product to remove makeup. It is oil based. It's jam packed with vitamin E, so it's very very hydrating for the skin. Day number 13. Oh, it's a big door. We have, oh, we've got lip gloss. I love lip gloss so much. It's actually something that I've got on my lips right now. This looks great on its own, but looks even better on top of a matte color. It is smaller than previous years, but you only need a little bit. It goes a very long way. Day number 14. Another eyeshadow is next. And here we've got expensive pink eyeshadow. So this is a Velux Pearl eyeshadow. Oh, that is a stunning color. This is definitely a rose gold shimmer color in my opinion. That's going to look absolutely stunning with all the other eyeshadow colors that we got in previous doors. Day number 15. Another lipstick, but it is a smaller size. Now this is in the shade Ruby Woo. Oh, I am all too familiar with this. Ah! Oh! We finally have something red. This is a beautiful festive color. This has made me really, really happy that we've got a touch of red inside. Oh, Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. I bloody love you. Day number 16. We have got, oh, the strobe cream. This again is also an advent calendar classic by MAC. Now this is in the shade Pink Light. Now this is a perfect product to wear on the face, but you can also wear along the neckline or even up your legs, why not? Day number 17, another eyeshadow. Now here we've got its Vintage Powder Kiss Soft Matte Eyeshadow. This color is definitely more of a purple tone. We have had quite a lot of eyeshadow up until now, but MAC eyeshadows are absolutely incredible. They're one of the best pigments around. And we have different colors here. I'm personally loving it. I'm not gonna call overkill on this. Day number 18. Oh, we've got a little teeny product here. Now this is Natural Radiance Base. 
So this is in the color Radiant Yellow. I do know they have a pinker tone, so this might not suit you. Anyway, this is a great veil to wear underneath makeup. Not only does it soften the skin, hydrate, it's also jam-packed with antioxidants, and it's also got like a pearl powder inside, so it does offer like a really nice luminosity. It's particularly good if you've got oily to combination skin. It just gives the skin that nice base in preparation for makeup. Day number 19, another big door. Oh, is this full size? So here we got Prep and Prime and this is a lip base. Oh, this is definitely needed for this time of year. This is a great product to wear underneath lipsticks. Now, this is like, it's almost like a lip balm, but it's just better than a lip balm in combination with a lipstick. It just protects the lip, sometimes putting on especially a matte lipstick on dry lips can feel super uncomfortable, so this is something great to wear underneath. Day number 20. Oh, okay, we've definitely had this before. Now this is the Fix Plus Skin Refresher. This is perfect to wear on top of makeup if you just want a bit of a refresh, but you can definitely wear it underneath makeup if you wish to, if you want some hydration. Day number 21. We have another eyeshadow. Now this is called Amiga and this is a matte eyeshadow. Now this is a really nice color to go in as a base. Again, this would work really well with the other colors that we've received earlier, but I would definitely wear this as my base. Day number 22. We have another lipstick. Now this is in the color Chili and it's a matte lipstick. <gasps> Oh, chilly. I think I'm actually wearing this color, I can't be sure. But this is the perfect autumnal shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. I believe I've worn this on my lips in previous videos and I always get comments on it. It's called Chili. I'm loving the fact that we've definitely had an autumn color, we've had a festive color, and we've had all the nice kind of nude brownie tones. This is great, great for Halloween. Day number 23, Christmas Eve Eve. Behind this door, we have got pigment and this is in the color tan. So this is a highly pigmented powder. You can wear it on its own or in combination with other eyeshadow colors. This just screams Christmas at me. It's almost like tinsel. Day number 24, the final day. Oh, we have a big lipstick, much better than last year's because last year we got a crappy mirror. So this is in the color Meh and this is a matte lipstick. Now the color. Now this is definitely more on the pink tone. I definitely feel that this Advent calendar did need a pink tone, so I'm very happy we have it um, on the last day. It's definitely like a dusky rose shade. I think this is a really great final door, but could you imagine if like next year we had like a little palette or something? That would be mind blowing. So there we go guys, that is the MAC Advent Calendar for 2021. Now, what did I think? Let's just like get all the products together. For me, just wow. This for me is my favorite makeup advent calendar. Not only are the products really high quality, but you do get a range at a good discounted rate. I do know that this advent calendar is more on the expensive side, however, I do feel it's a great investment. I think by adding the blusher this year is great. I reckon that they should have maybe added in a bronzer and maybe took away maybe a lip color. But overall, a really strong advent calendar. Perfect for a MAC or makeup lover. What is the value of each door? So each door is valued at £5.63, which is not bad, especially for MAC. Like I said, this advent calendar is gonna sell out super quickly, so if you wanna get your hands on one, link down below. But as always, guys, just make sure that you link, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.